Good morning, fans of the Private TRFX. Coming at you at the New York Open. Chart in front of me here is the crude chart. Um, this looks like a break trade to me through $60. Now we got the psychologically important 60 bucks. We had the 60.10 print yesterday. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six daily lows here. Um, I'm not a crude expert or a specialist by any means, um, so I won't make any sort of overly simplified argument as to why crude could go lower. And in fact, I don't really care. Uh, it just looks like to me that this is going to be a place where there will be some risky stops and some forced selling. And these are places where we typically like to get involved. So. Let's keep an eye on, on $60 for the rest of the week in crude. This, of course, dovetails with um, our dollar CAD technical level. 130 the figure. Obviously, if crude breaks 60, there will be pressure to sell CAD. Uh, and this is kind of lining up here now. So we have one, two, three highs up there. Yesterday's high was 84. Uh, sorry, 76. Tuesday's high was 84. Now we're just sort of hanging out at the top end of the range here. Uh, this looks pretty interesting to me. Dollar cat through 130, psychological as well. Ideally, you get crude to the psychological 60 and dollar cat through the psychological 130 at the same time. This may give you the confidence to increase your position size or take a little bit more risk if the story is coinciding perfectly. Crude's a percent and a half away. Let's keep in mind uh, 61 bucks right now. Cable. Annoying print up at 89 today. Uh, did not follow through at all. In fact, that was the dead high. As you can see, we printed 70 pips lower, down to 139.21. Now we're at 139.40, sort of middle of this 139 handle. Not really sure which way we're going, uh, but we will still try and buy high ones in cables. So we will be buying as we break 90, 96 in the figure now for ideally um, a bigger move to 140, 50, and even 140, 70, which are these highs up here. So this is also on the radar. I got the cable and the dollar CAD on the radar. Dollar yen's been pretty offered in a sort of quiet-ish way today. Equities have had only a really a five-handle move, 27.55 right now. The high has sort of been 27.60, you know, maybe 62 traded, but it's very, very quiet. We're kind of waiting for New York. There is some talk about Euro dollar expiries today, 123.50, 123 to figure, and 124, about a yard on each. So 10 a.m. New York time will hopefully free up some volatility in Euro dollar, which then will hopefully free up some volatility in the rest of the currency pairs. Because other than the big move down in cable, the sort of 70 points, sort of everyone got caught long, there really is nothing going on. Yen crosses are lower because of dollar yen. Sterling yen took the brunt because of also the cable move, but no important levels broken. You could argue you could argue that uh, our Euro Yen we're looking for a 13050 print, which then would become a nice pivot for tomorrow. Uh, but in general it's wait and see. Uh, we have Philly Fed today. We have uh, jobless claims which doesn't really do much. And we'll just be watching the stock market. We'll be watching the flapping talking heads out of Washington, D.C. And we'll see if we can get uh, any kind of 
extended moves with cable and dollar CAD still as our focus. We do have one ECB speaker, uh, 445 Central European time. We've got uh, RBA tonight also uh, at around midnight. The bell is speaking for those who care about the Australian dollar. All right, we're just patiently waiting for this cable or this dollar CAD to come into play. And the rest of it, we're going to wait for after expiries to see what uh, see what comes up. Good luck, good luck out there, guys. We will see you tomorrow at the European Open.